And it's my honour and my great privilege to introduce our next National Chief, Cindy Woodhouse Nipanak. Hi, hi. Once again, the Assembly of First Nations elected a woman, Cindy Woodhouse. She almost forgot to thank someone during her first speech. My husband joined me today and uh, yesterday and this week, and I want to thank him. He's a, he's a strong educator, and he always makes sure that these guys are organized from day to day. The Mohawk Council of Ganawage Grand Chief, Kasnahawe Sky Deer, was present during the Assembly of First Nations election. She is among the growing number of women who have been elected into leadership positions. I mean, I've always heard of uh, some discrimination and some bias. I mean, you know, maybe there's some old mentalities about women's role is about, you know, the family and just staying at home. There are approximately 630 First Nation communities in Canada. During the last election, 461 chiefs voted. And according to the Assembly of First Nations, 177 were female chiefs. I've heard from some men that they feel that uh, women have a different approach uh, to the position and the role and that they would like to see more. Uh, so maybe it's a change in attitude as well uh, from, from men uh, who hold these positions for such a long time to, to welcome uh, more, more women leadership to the tables. And obviously the communities, right? It's the communities that support and, and vote us in. <laughs> The Grand Chief of the Algonquin and Anishinaabeg Nation Tribal Council, Savannah McGregor, explains that the place of women is important to the Assembly. She believes that a good representation of the nations means diversity, including two-spirited people. Come chair of the National Caucus of Women Leaders, um, on, on crée un espace où on peut avoir de virtual ses, de sessions virtuelles avec des key speakers et avoir un espace pour avoir le mentorat. For those dreaming of a career in politics, Grand Chief McGregor says, it's not only about luck, but la détermination, la volonté, la curiosité et l'amour. Cousin Howis Gaidier believes that the Creator blessed everyone with a gift. And if the chance to assume a leadership role in your community arises, one should seize the opportunity. There will be a time, I think, where you'll see more. A story by Shushan Bacon, read by Maricela Amador, APTN National News, Ottawa.